So several months ago I was recommended a product called hardware cloth that I could use to make railings for this freighter behind me here. So I went and bought some and tried it out. So let's take a look at some hardware cloth today. All right, so this <clears throat> here is hardware cloth. It's not cloth at all. It's uh, metal, like a fine chicken wire. But it's really soft and pliable, okay? It's sold in a roll. In fact, I kept the sticker that was on the end of the roll to kind of show you what it looks like. Hardware cloth quarter inch mesh and this is a three by five foot roll found it in the garden center at Home Depot <clears throat> and apparently a lot of people in the model railroading community have used it to make railings and actually I think it is going to work well to make a railing to go around the hull of this boat plus I need to put some railing along the entire length of that bridge and plus a couple other spots so I actually did a practice project with it so let's go check that out now because it is a soft metal it's really easy to cut and shape I did pick up a new pair of uh, tin snips here because I didn't know if my old ones were all that sharp and then I've got a dedicated pair of snips here now you probably don't want to use your good pair of snips because I'm sure most of you have a pair of these for modeling because cutting through that metal will will hurt the blade a little bit so this pair is dedicated mostly to let's just say heavier harder cuttings and then I do have another pair that I will keep away from cutting metal and such keep that one a lot sharper now, I am going to say this before I cut this, because when you cut, when you cut on this, with these, these little bits of metal are going to fly, okay? And they can end up in your eye, so please wear eye protection, okay? You do not want metal in your eye. Here's a better angle of cutting or how easy it is to cut this stuff quickly with your snips just line it up where you want it and just cut straight along like a pair of scissors see the slower you go the closer you can make your cuts and that's it then you just take your snips and clean it up. I never did really say what it's actually intended for and used for and why it's found in the garden center at, home, at your home improvement stores. It's meant to put around delicate vegetation like young plants or trees and Come to think of it, I've used some of it in the past and didn't even realize that that was hardware cloth. Here's another freighter here that's going to eventually need railing. And I'd like to put some along uh, the back of that hydroelectric dam where people would walk across. But here <clears throat> is the project where I already tried some of it. This railing here is made out of that hardware cloth. Alright, now I hope it focuses. Okay, so you can see when we're really up close to this stuff that it's a little wavy, it's not perfect, okay? And you can see a lot of those little, uh, those little nubs. Most of the ones on the top are cut or grinded 
fairly flush, but the ones in between I wasn't really able to do all that well because I can't find my bit. So I might come back later and touch it up. But that's hardware cloth, okay? It's painted. In my case, the prototype one is blue. It takes the paint very well. I'm zooming back. And as you can see, as you zoom back, as you pull back, you don't see those nubs as much. Okay, and I think it looks pretty good. So the reason I cut out every other post to begin with is because the the railing on the pier in Alpina, um, the posts are spread out in a, to make a more rectangular pattern like you see here. But most of the other railings that I'm going to do around the layout will have closer to a square pattern, so I shouldn't have to cut out every other post and can avoid worrying about these knobs altogether. Prototype. But yeah, it cut well. It was easy to bend. I just cut the top here on each side so that I could bend it up the slope. And then it's just super glued into place. You know. The roll was uh, I think fifteen or sixteen dollars. And again it's a three foot by five foot roll. I'm sure there's other sizes out there and so I should have enough to do to do this. Well this is done. But to do back there, to do that freighter, to do the freighter back on the other side of the of the backdrop there and the bridge that goes all the way across on the other side. Well. So there you go. If you're familiar with hardware cloth, make some railings takes paint well. Um, you can push it into your scenery base too if you have foam or something soft it pushes right in and then just glue it down with whatever adhesive. Super glue works well. Even white glue will work if it's holding its shape. Cuts really well. Make sure you use eye protection uh, and if you get if you use some of your um, snips make sure you get a dedicated pair because it will dull and misshape in the blade after several uses. That's going to be it for now. As always, thanks for watching. And maybe you can find a good use for hardware cloth on your model railroad. Go ahead and check it out. Until next time, take care.